Hello everyone. Today I'd like to um, carry on sharing my understandings and things that come to me during the process of you know learning and um, working on myself. And uh, before I carry on talking about the same program, freedom from base dictatorship within yourself, uh, I'd like to share with you another experience that I had during this week. It was just very funny the way consciousness was trying to stop me uh, and it really it really shows um, you know <laughs> that everything what Igor Mihalovich Danilov uh, was talking about in this program is true because what I've heard in my head before recording this vlog is that why are you doing this you shouldn't really um, talk, uh, you know, share things with other people because you're still unstable, you're still on your path, you're this, that. It's basically trying to put me down, make me feel really, you know, bad and uh, kind of <laughs> make me feel worthless, I guess. Um, I've heard some thoughts saying that you're, n you're no one, you're nothing, you're this. It's all about, you know, this Mm, trying to play on ego and when you understand that well thoughts are not me and you understand that there is something that just doesn't want me to share my experience with other people and because I know that um, it works the same with all of us and I'm sure many of you hear the same things like don't do this, don't do that because it will not work or <laughs> you are not good enough, this, that. It's all because you're probably doing something, mm, something important, something that will be useful for others, something that w might help others, might help you first of all. <laughs> and uh, of course it will try to stop you. I understood one thing that consciousness is just a program the way Gary Mihalovich says it's not a life when I um, think that my consciousness and thoughts are alive and it's me uh, and we you know we become one <laughs> then of course it's difficult of course um, you get emotional you get some sadness upset and you, you depend on uh, others opinion you depend on the way other people look at you what people say you want other people to like you and all these things um, they really the, I see that they stop me from being free who doesn't let the person to true freedom? And why doesn't he see it? Because this is also a part of the person himself. We have already talked about this, and more than once. After all, our consciousness is nothing but what stands in front of our personality. It is exactly consciousness that has contact with three-dimensionality. If there's no consciousness, we won't see three-dimensionality, we won't see each other, we won't be able to contact each other in the same way as here, meaning, at a simple verbal level, we see each other, we see our volume, our location in space, but all this will disappear, all three-dimensionality will disappear. However, perception through feelings, precisely as a personality, it must be developed and nurtured. During this process of sharing with you uh, some understandings and just um, uh, things that I gained, you know, um, <laughs> is the fact that even now, when I'm recording this video, I feel this growth inside of me. I feel that those words that I say, they kind of become stronger inside of me. They become even more kind of true for myself, first of all. So I've noticed that uh, this process is uh, helping me um, to learn more, to discover more. And uh, it's amazing. After all, the system always aims to peg and repress a personality. Oppress. To oppress. Right, just to... To offend, to oppress, to strike a vulnerable spot, pridefulness and everything else. But what does it end with if a person firmly stands on his path? With the victory. For sure. That's the point.